Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you a neat little trick that can help you with your um, inbound marketing uh, with Sevlod. Uh, and um, it's going to let you track basically your website inquiries um, and where they came from uh, on your website. So if you have a, a Google AdWords campaign or just an organic Google campaign um, or a Facebook uh, marketing campaign, you're going to be able to tag the link with a, a specific um, little uh, tag at the end of the URL and that's going to pre-populate uh, a field in your inquiry form and it's going to let you know uh, when you get an inquiry through your website where the user came from uh, as long as they uh, make the inquiry on the landing page that they came to first on the website. So the way we're going to do that is by using Seblod forms and live values, live URL values. So I'll just go into Seblod there. And while that's loading, um, I'll show you. So this is my uh, new website. And uh, at the bottom of every page, we've got this inquiry form, which is built with Seblod. And it's just got some basic parameters like yeah, empty your name, email address, phone number, and, and a message there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a hidden field to this form. Um, and that's going to determine um, you know, that uh, dynamic linking. So here we've got my inquiry form in Seblod. And you can see here the site form, uh, all the different fields that are in the site form. Now I need to create a new field and I'm gonna call it something relatively short, CPGN camp for campaign. And it doesn't need a label because it's not going to be, um, you're not going to be able to see it. And that's all we need to do. It just needs to be a simple text field. So we'll save and close. But on that field, what we're going to do is hide it and set a live value. And the live value we're going to set is going to be URL. And we don't need to change anything in here. All we need to do is just make that URL variable. Okay. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, what I might do actually is uh, not make that hidden. So you can just see the effect of what we're going to do. Okay. So now if I refresh this page, you'll be able to see we've got that new field. Whoops. That should actually be default. There you go. Okay. So now what that what that does is um, with the live URL variable um, setting is that it it looks in the URL for this particular bit of code. It a question mark, then the uh, the name of the field, CPGN, and equals and then a value. So for example, Google. Now if we go to that link. We'll see that this field is already pre-filled with the word Google. So now we've got a URL that we can uh, place on our Google AdWords that will um, bring people to a specific page with uh, a field already pre-filled. And if we hide that field so that people can't see it, then when they submit that form uh, to the back end, we can make it in our email that it sends through when once it's been submitted or just in the article in the Joomla back end. When you log in, uh, you'll be able to see your inquiry, um, all the information they entered, and you'll be able to know which campaign they came from, which is extremely useful for knowing which of your campaigns are working and which ones aren't. And all you have to do is set a hidden field to uh, the live URL uh, variable parameter and um, remember that it's question mark, the name of the field equals, and then the value. So now on my website, if I go to this home page, um, now that I've hidden the field, you can't see it anymore. And I'm just going to fill this out. And click the inquiry button. And now when I go into my article manager in the back end of Joomla and I can see my inquiry, I can now see which campaign the user visited from. And to show you another example, 
let's just say on my services page here, we do the same thing, but we do with Facebook. Okay, so they land on the services page, they fill out the form. Refresh the article manager, see the new inquiry. And we can see they came from our Facebook campaign. So there you go. I hope that's helpful to you and is an application of live uh, URL variables that you may not have considered before.